What's going on? How y'all doing? This video is going to be about the Tupac Pride Month the LGBTQ clothing line and that the Tupac estate is selling it off. Now, one thing about the music industry, they will sell anything for merchandise. They will put anything by there. Um, I can't say one way or the other how Tupac may have felt about this. You know, when you're in the industry, you give up yourself for the arts. By any means necessary. And I'm not saying nothing. Music, acting, TV, you know the drill, you know the game. I don't know, you know, I don't I don't look at necessarily thinking Tupac would have been pushing the agenda. However, the agenda pushing him. But they're fans of all styles and every genres and things like that. Now do I think I, I when I look at Tupac I'm thinking with the Juneteenth, I'm thinking of someone that was speaking on, on the strength of the black community and speaking on different things. But I don't know how he would have felt about gay rights and pride. You know, I don't think at that particular time when he was around and popping off in these streets that that would necessarily have been a necessary focal point of where he was as an artist. And I don't necessarily hear a lot of main black rappers necessarily pushing that agenda. Like, I don't foresee Nas and Jay-Z pushing a clothing line there. I don't know about Snoop. I don't see it. However, the more appeal that they put Tupac under, the more money that they will put to the estate. And there will be certain artists that will be more to driven, that message will be driven home to. So it kind of, you know, it's a money grab and it's definitely a politic, political move. Now, it would have been real interesting had Tupac lived where he would have looked at this situation. You know, if you put him in 2021 eyes, 2022 eyes, what he would have agreed to, what he now would agree to, you know. And we don't really see that being pushed per se, even though the industry is definitely pushing an agenda. I think he would have spoken on certain things that he's seen, how some of these rappers, certain clothing, certain apparel, certain things. Uh, but, you know, again, this industry, and when you get estates and you get deals, they want you, I don't know if, um, you know, I don't know if this, I don't know, between the pride clothing and his clothes being auctioned at Walmart, I don't know which side he would have been on because it's very strange to see such a mainstream running of Tupac. Because even though he was successful in life, it wasn't it wasn't as blown. Now it's taken on mythical proportions of epical proportions where, you know, besides the music sales and a few the movies, but it wasn't like this. So it's it's kind of interesting how I see it translate. But what you think? Well, Tupac have been cool with the um, LGBTQ uh, clothing apparel, clothing line with his likeness. Would he been cool with that? Do you think he would have been cool with that? Excuse me. I don't think so. I just think. But again, the estate's running that agenda, and that's what the industry wants. Industry gets what they want, and they want to make you appealable to all. And there are fans of all, and there is no knock against anyone's uh preferences, orientations, etc. It's just that when I think of certain artists and I think of certain demographics, when you're promoting something, does it seem that it is in accordance to said situation or they're just another agenda? You tell me. Please hit a like, subscribe, or welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And there will be other artists that they will make this appeal to. But it's kind of interesting that when I see that, that Tupac got thrown into that, and especially when you consider the rap and the past of the homophobic lyrics and different things, you don't see a lot of artists being so gay-friendly, per se. Now, if this was Eminem, would they have done that to Eminem? Would Eminem draw a clothing line towards the LGBTQ community right now, considering his lyrics and his past? We'll take your eye on it. I'm out.